Hi everyone, this is Winona and I'm here to share awareness to my fellow students to help eliminate such sexually transmitted disease or STD. And we will also learn about the STDs and what they are, in addition to how to avoid them. Before I start this presentation, I just wanted to apologize in advance for the unnecessary background noises that you might hear throughout this video. I don't have a good environment currently, so I hope you understand that. So, let us start. So, what is an STD? An SCD, or also known as sexually transmitted disease or infections that are passed from person to person through sexual intercourse or other forms of activity or during pregnancy or delivery with a person who has an SCD. When body fluids from one person, for example, blood, semen, and vaginal fluids come into contact with one person. So here are some common signs and symptoms of a person who has an SCD that you might want to look at. Number one, we've got pus or unusual yellowish, greenish, or grayish discharge from penis, vagina, or anus. Number two, rash, sores, lumps, or blisters around or near the penis, vagina, or anus. And number three, swelling in genital or anal area. And so, take note that most STIA can be treated with appropriate medication can be lessened its risk if caught early and some can have very serious effects if neglected. So you should keep an eye on STDs since some STDs have no signs or symptoms, especially for girls or women. Some signs or symptoms may disappear even without proper treatment but can still be passed into others and can continue to damage your health. So it's important to be alert, be cautious, and learn how to avoid them. Please remember that you can only get STDs from someone who has one and it often don't show symptoms. And you can also tell if someone has it by just observing through eyes and anyone can get one even if they only had one different type of sex just one time. But we have ways in order to not get any STDs and prevent it as much as we can and it is by remembering this simple as A, B, C, D letters. So first. We've got letter A, or abstinence, also means abstaining from sex. So here are some reasons why people abstain from sex. Waiting until they're ready for a sexual relationship, follows their beliefs or religion, has still things to get done or just not interested. But some people also choose to engage that don't include oral or vaginal sex, like kissing, hugging, or mutual masturbation, or activities that doesn't include skin-to-skin -skin contact of genitals, anus, or mouth, and that one shares sexual fluids. Letter B or be mutually faithful, or that means that you should limit your partners. C. Correct and consistent use of condom. Like different kinds of condom like external and internal condoms or internal dams. This stuff comes in handy to avoid you and your partner avoid having STDs. Letter D, or don't use drugs and alcohol or do not share needles and syringes. But also, keep in mind that safer sex doesn't mean that there is no chance of you getting an STD. And so, this comes the last letter. Letter E, or educate yourself just like we are doing right now. And follow these methods aside from you and your partner getting tested regularly for STDs. First, you should think about what works for you. I remember that not having a sex is the safest. Instead, practice a safer sex. And lastly, communicate. Communicating with your partner to reduce the misunderstandings and that you both have the same understandings for this kind of topic. Thank you so much for listening. That's all. And I hope that you learned something. It may be big or small. I truly appreciate that. And let us all remember this quote that goes, Safe sex is an act of self-love. Since we are in our puberty stage, it's normal for us to be curious and that turns into exploring our sexuality. But please make sure that you are fully aware about the consequences you are making. That's all and once again this is Maria Winona S. Sagunoy of Able Literature. Thank you and have a good day.